Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning inspiration. It's another beautiful Sabbath morning, March 16th, and I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that as you soak in the sun rays this morning, that you will also soak in the blessing of the Lord. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 8, reading verse 23 to 27. And it says, And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waters, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. 27 and last. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obeyed him? Amen. We give God thanks this morning again for his holy words. And this is something for us to think about. We have this tendency to let fear cripple us. Even when God is there beside us, we are still fearful. Why are we fearful? Don't we know who is on our side? Now, this was a situation with disciples. They were with Jesus on the sea and Jesus was there fast asleep. And then out of nowhere, a great storm came on the sea and the disciples, they went nuts. They were just crazy. They were so afraid because they thought that they were going to die. But they were also puzzled at the same time because they were like, how is it that Jesus is sleeping when all of this is happening don't he realize that we're about to die interesting how can the master or the creator of the storm allow the storm to take his life think about that so jesus was fast asleep because jesus knew that he had nothing to worry about the winds and the sea respond to him and so the disciples woke him up and said, Master, Master, we're about to die. This great storm is about to kill us. And Jesus was surprised at their attitude. He was surprised at their lack of faith, knowing that he, the master of the sea, was right there beside them. In spite of the fact that he was sleeping, he was right there. There is no element in nature that has power over god and i say amen so they had no need to worry but you see they did not fully understand the power of god yet and they did not fully comprehend who god was yet and so they were still little babes lacking understanding and so their faith was not yet mature and jesus responded to them by said why do you have such little faith don't you see that i am here with you what is this saying to us with jesus in the midst of the storm we are secure and i know we have this tendency when the storm come we like to jump ship but jumping ship is a dangerous thing right and we can't be jumping ship when Jesus is on the ship, then when you jump off, who's going to save you? How is it that you're running from the rescue, running from help? The person who is able to help you, you are running from his present to go into the midst of danger, saying that you are trying to secure your own life. Can't you see how much that don't make much sense? Think about it. You are running from God with the understanding that you are protecting yourself. That's not protection. You are killing yourself. And I also want to make this connection with us as it relates to the church. 
The church is like a big ship. It has all kind of different personalities on this ship. So you are not the only passenger on board. And you have people traveling from all walks of life on this ship. Though we are going to the same destination, these personalities, they are different. And when you come amongst these personalities, sometimes you have challenge. And so we are on this ship and we are in a storm. The ship is the church, metaphorically. And in this storm, the ship is going to meet different type of turbulences. Sometimes it will crash against the rock. Sometimes the water will spill in. Sometimes it will tilt and it will rock and it will shake. But what do you do? Are you going to jump ship as many of us do from time to time? We jump ship because we claim that inside the ship there's too much happening that we don't like. It's kind of like the ark. What if Noah and his family decide that they weren't going to stay on the ark because the ark smells so bad with all those animals and the, the eating and defecating all over the ark. That must have been a very you know, difficult position to be in. But what were they going to do? Jump? Surely they would have died. In spite of all that, the safest place to be was inside the ark. And the same goes for us. The safest place for us to be is in the church of God. Not outside. I know outside look like they have it all going on. And they have it all figured out. Well, so it would seem. But that's only a misconception. Do not leave the ark of safety. Amen. God kept them. So I guess God give them tolerance so that they could handle whatever smell existed on the ark and in the same way in the church you're gonna have all kind of smell you're gonna have all kind of different personalities that clash against yours what you're gonna do run from the presence of god jump ship who is gonna save you when you jump ship can you save yourself no Stay on the ship. The captain of the ship is God. And he will dock the ship safely to shore. Yes, by the time the ship reach shore, it might have some bumps and bruises. But never jump ship. Because when you allow other passengers to make you jump ship, they dock safely to the shore or to the arbor. And you are nowhere to be found. Floating somewhere. Dead in the water. All because you did not want to stay on the ship. Because of everything that has been happening. And because the ship was just rocking and bumping. And just scraping against the tide. So you take it upon yourself that you are going to save yourself. But... In the attempt to save yourself, you realize that you kill yourself. And so, brethren, let us have faith in God and his ability to save us. The songwriter say, Though my ship may be rocking and my sails may be torn, I shall rest. In the eye of the storm. And I say amen. You don't want a clearer message and a clearer hope than that. Stay on the ship because you will be safe with Jesus. Have a wonderful day. Amen.